You know, it's a new year and one marked by new developments in Washington and around the world. And while most of us have been caught up in the political scene, there have actually been some major developments in the world of economics. And that's having an effect, real effects, on our lives here in Hawaii. And to talk more about that is Gregory Chang from Hawaii USA Federal Credit Union. Greg, aloha. Thank Thanks for coming in. You, you know, again, we're, we're talking at the commercial break. A lot of things happening. But, but talk about these storylines that have come around, you know, since the election and stuff. Yeah, since the uh, November elections, a couple of things have happened. We've seen interest rates increase. Mm -hmm. So in December, the Fed did increase rates. And for this year, 2017, the Fed expects to increase rates three times instead mm -hmm. of the original anticipated two increases. So that's a change. Mm -hmm. And also, we've seen uh, the stock market increase to record levels, basically due to uh, increased consumer confidence. Who's, and that's a good thing. I mean, yeah. we want that. Yeah. Now, so let's break that down. When we see interest rates grow up and, and we see Hawaii got a popular real estate market and stuff, when the, when the Fed bumps the interest rates, mortgage rates go up, how does it affect us here in Hawaii? Yeah, so as, um, it affects us in many ways. Mm -hmm. If you're a borrower, uh, if you're looking to buy a home mm -hmm. or an automobile, mm -hmm. and then you're looking for a mortgage mm -hmm. or an auto loan, mm -hmm. then um, rates are, are going up slightly but still great opportunities to um, make your purchase and get loan rates at very low rates. Mm -hmm. But as rates continue to go up, we'll see a little bit of an increase in those loan rates, maybe in your credit cards or home equities. Mm -hmm. Well, that affects the bottom line. And I like how you say that, though. I remember the other day I was talking to my mom, and I was like, oh, man, the mortgage rates are going up. Should I buy or should I? She's like, 20 years ago, if you want to know what the mortgage rates were then, I mean, there was That's so much true. more. So still, your buying power is still there for you, right? I think it'll be still good for a couple of years. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Now, also talk about the stock market, because you were saying with the activity there, if you have a, a savings account or a Roth IRA or a retirement fund, that's a positive sign too, right? Yeah. The stock market is great for those of you that have uh, personal investments mm -hmm. tied to stocks or um, for most of us we have our retirement accounts that are tied to equities mm -hmm. or stocks. We've seen the value of those stocks go up and so that bodes well for us. I mm -hmm. mean maybe you and I are still fairly young but, <laughs> but maybe we're one step closer to an earlier retirement yes. so the value of that has gone up. And then you also mentioned savings accounts yes. as well. So interest rates have been low for the past decade. Yes. And we've been earning close to zero. Yeah, in our savings account. And mm -hmm. so if you have an overnight account, a passbook account, a, a money market account, a CD, then we will expect to see rates gradually go up over time and then that will bode well for, for all of us. For all of our savings. Yeah. And again, I always like to say, kids, get started early on your retirement. or It's all about compounding interest. That'll be another segment. But trust me, talk to these guys about it. But when we talk about that, what, what is the long-term output? And this is what I love talking to you guys about because you're focused on today, but you're also taking a look at that bigger picture. So how, how's the long-term outlook for the economy now post-election going to come yeah, out? You think? Great question because we definitely have to look at trends. Mm -hmm. And what we see in the future, of course, it's very difficult to predict the future. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I think currently now we look at what's going on now. Uh, cons consumer confidence is high. Good thing. The economy is growing. Uh, unemployment is low. That's right. So some real good signs that would point to a, a positive uh, long-term outlook. Mm -hmm. But yet, I think we got to be a little bit ca cautious. Uh, I think the most important thing as a consumer is just to look at the trends, um, a look at the news, follow the news, mm -hmm. do your research, try to make well-informed, well-planned financial decisions for yourself. Yeah, don't make yeah. those rash decisions out there. Think about it, and more importantly, well, come talk to him at Hawaii USA, because I, I love this. You I mean, this is how it is. If you want to come down, we can learn from the website, but anybody can come in and talk to you guys and feel this kind of trend and, and see what you guys feel as well, right? Yeah, we have a great program called LEAP, Life Events Assistance Program, and that's really to help people with their financial planning, you know, Learn how to make a budget, yep. learn how to uh, s save for that down payment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, no, so. I've actually been to that website. I set my goals for 2020 because of that. And I like that the website has all those things because I want to work toward the future, but I have a positive goal for that. And that 2020 goal well, thing I'm is I'm glad good. you're using our website. Oh, it's yeah. at Hawaii, leapwithhawaiiusa.com. Awesome. We'll have all the links on ours on here. Thank you so much, man. I'm going to bring you. you back. We'll keep talking every couple of years about the trends and like that. That's okay. good stuff.